Good afternoon, Ekaterina. Uh, can you can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you and see you as well. Great, thank you very much. I'm Radosław Koszewski. Together with me, there are Lydia Markinkowska and Mariusz Pawlak. Uh, you will have five minutes now to present yourself. Uh, then each of us will have up to three minutes to ask you a question and listen to your answer. And then there will be one minute uh, feedback session. Uh, is it all clear? Yeah, that's everything is clear. And I could start, start probably. Okay. Can I share the screen as well? Of course. You see the, the, the green button? Uh, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And let's see if you could see the presentation. Can you see it now? Yes, we do. Thank you very much. So my name is Yekaterina Rybukovini and I'm from Lithuania. Um, I present John Paul II Gymnasium in Vilnius. This is a bilingual school. Uh, students, this is a high school. So there are four grades from the 9th till the 10th, uh, till the 12th. And uh, so our mission is to develop independent, creative, responsible personalities. And all the education is based on Christian ethics and, of course, moral values. Uh, why is our school so special? Uh, first of all, it successfully competes with similar educational institutions. And our gymnasium between um, uh, Lithuanian school uh, is in top 10 according to the results. Uh, because math results, uh, we are the, on the 27th place in Lithuania, the IT results on the 16th place, the Russian language at uh, 8th place, and so on. Uh, why are Christian ethics so important? As all everybody, as everybody knows, um, Polish community, um, all the life of Polish community is based on those Christian ethics, uh, on that Christian ethics, and it's very important and um, dominates um, uh, in school life. Uh, there are monthly meetings in churches. Um, there, are, um, there are always students participating, teachers, parents of students, and in such an informal way of communication, the communication of God, with God, communication with each other, we, uh, we are united. Um, of course, there are also constant donations and organized charity events. Uh, the money are donated to hospice, orphanage. This is what uh, Polish students, parents of students do throughout the year. Uh, what is more, uh, the volunteering is also encouraged. Um, students participate and take part in volunteering in hospices, orphanage, uh, and uh, many other institutions. Why should our school participate? Uh, first of all, there are numerous uh, Polish schools in Lithuania, and there are a lot of Polish people over here. So we would be able to spread the news about the project among Polish schools. Um, our headmaster of uh, John Paul II Gymnasium is a very active and well-known person. Adam um, Adam Inskiech here. Yeah, he's very uh, uh, Adam Blaskiech. He's very no well known uh, in Lithuania. So uh, the, it would be quite easy for us to organize the meetings with all the headmasters of Polish schools. Uh, what is more, I think it's a great way to motivate Polish speaking learners and to take part in the competition. And this is what could um, focus the interest on, on on all the subjects at school. And we also can encourage parents and children cooperation while the competition. I think that if a person uh, decided to participate in this project, it would be great if he could or if he or she could cooperate with parents who could kind of give some ideas on, on what the essay could be about, on what the presentation of a person could be about, and so on. My competences are of, um, of these. Uh, I know languages. Uh, there are four languages I know. Um, I've got... Hello? 
hello, Ekaterina, can you hear me? Hello, hello. Ekaterina is missing for a moment, but she still has connection. Hello, Ekaterina, I see you are muted. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, you are muted. No, not anymore, yeah. Not anymore. But you are not sharing the screen anymore. Now, let me try it once again. Okay. I'm on... But, yeah, the time oh, 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 the presentation was out, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the last slide, let's say, yeah. Yeah, last slide. Okay. So what, what, how can the project benefit our community? We can spread the knowledge of a project among Polish schools, schools in Lithuania, uh, meetings with students, parents, and motivation for school. Of course, the article about the project could appear in Lithuanian press, in Kurier Vilenski newspaper. And of course, there would arise the possibility of further, further projects. I think that's all. Great, thank you very much. Um, please stop sharing the screen. Yeah. And uh, Lydia, may I ask you for the first question? Of course. Um, hello, Professor. It's nice yeah. to see you. Nice to hear from you. Uh, my question yeah. is because you, during the project, you have to organize a group of students, very good yeah. students, but still teenage students. Can you uh, tell us? Uh, an example about a challenging situation during uh, organizing uh, an event with student and how you handled it? Yeah, of course. I've got a difficult situation uh, which has to do with uh, the illness of a student. So uh, the person was about to, uh, to become unconscious and this is what I noticed uh, the first. And of course, I... Um, I told uh, the other uh, members of the staff that uh, something is wrong with the person. So we were able to stop the trip for some time. Um, uh, kind of, um, um, kind of um, share the uh, responsibilities. I took the person uh, to the hospital. Uh, there was one more colleague with me. And of course, everything with um, trip went on very well so you you were a volunteer to stay with this sick person yeah, right? yeah of course mm -hmm. not only me but my colleague mm -hmm. as well okay thank you very much thank you thank you marius Yes, good afternoon. This is uh, nice to uh, to see you. So my question is um, maybe maybe a, a bit a bit uh, different but how do you think where we can find the more valuable knowledge in reading the books or talking to interesting person. So your students, when they can uh, benefit from mostly, so from reading the books, all of them read the same or talking to interesting person, maybe met in Silicon Valley. I think that nowadays uh, students are a little different because of that amount of information you can find all around us. And I think that here, the most important uh, becomes the connection of people uh, face to face. And if uh, the person is uh, well-educated, broad-minded, uh, that person, of course, could, um, could just um, fascinate uh, the student and change his life completely. And I think this, uh, talk with a person uh, we admire is the most important here because here the books can appear as well because the broad-minded person they normally read a lot and of course uh, they could uh, present a list of books which is important but of, I think that speaking to a um, broad-minded and um, clever person is more important than reading books I think nowadays. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Yekaterina. Uh, if you could choose uh, three places to see uh, in the whole Silicon Valley, like uh, companies, universities, uh, whatever, uh, 
what would you choose? Uh, I think that, of course, would be the the Microsoft. Okay. I think the university. Which one? Uh, the one. Um, one second. I think I I have um. Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you still hear ah, me? You are back. You are back. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Which which university? Um, I can't um, name it right now because I have forgotten the name probably because of the stress. Maybe Stanford, <laughs> maybe Berkeley. Yeah, of course, of course, the, the Stanford. Stanford, not Berkeley. And also the place where the Apple company started its um, existence. Okay, why you prefer Stanford over Berkeley? Probably because it's well known all around the country. Uh, I've seen many programs which are made about the university uh, uh, you, ha you have mentioned. Um, it's well known all around the world because the way the university is organized is, is different. It's unique. Uh, there, are, uh, it, it's, uh, there is a huge area. Uh, there are different parts where you can uh, do sport. There is a part of educational area. There is a part where some, some kind of, um, some kind of uh, creation can be made. Uh, there is also a place for leisure, uh, so it's a very, a very well organized university, and um, uh, the knowledge about it is spread all around the world. Okay, great. Thank you very much, uh, Lydia. It's time for for the feedback. Okay, so uh, Professor, I, I'm really glad to see that in uh, difficult situations, whether live or during presentation, when you lose your connection. Uh, you don't lose your cool, so it's really good to see. Uh, just a minor note, uh, although your presentation was uh, engaging, incredibly engaging, uh, some part, part of it were not relevant to the subject or to this uh, time frame, to this five minutes time frame. Okay, so focus on the, on, on the subject, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Marius. Yes, thank you. So uh, from me, this is that my impression is that we more learned about your school than yourself. Yes. So I think uh, this is what, what, what we expected to know something about you, your achievement and what you your activities with uh, with the students. Yes. So this is uh, this is missing. But thank you for your presentation and for the answers uh, that were uh, very, very, very good. So thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. I, I agree with Marius. Uh, Ekaterina, uh, the, now, now we are in the first stage of, uh, of this process. And, uh, then there will be the second one, uh, voting in internet. Uh, so please uh, uh, encourage uh, all your friends uh, voting for you uh, so that you have higher chances uh, going to Stanford uh, and Berkeley and, and, and you know, uh, seeing differences between these two universities uh, because uh, they, they are pretty much different. Uh, once again, thank you very much for your time uh, and have a very nice afternoon. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.